In New York City, a new age of cleaner, greener energy is dawning, and the source of this renewable power is free. Deep under New York's East River, divers are assembling one of the country's first tidal power plants that could revolutionize the city's power grid. Virginia-based Verdant Power is experimenting with a unique form of renewable energy using tidal turbines. It's really quite simple. Uh, tidal turbines work much like wind turbines in that it's the power of the current, the water current. And the basic physics is as simple as this. It's the sweep of the blade, in other words, the size of the rotor, and then the speed of the current. And you put those two together, and we're producing power. New York City spends over $13 billion a year on energy to power the city's lights, bridges, office towers, and homes. At this rate, say city officials, by 2030, New York will be unable to meet an ever-increasing demand for power unless alternative power sources are found. Our aging energy network is just not up to the job of supporting a great 21st century city. And as we grow, and if summers continue to get warmer, the strain will increase, resulting in more breakdowns, more polluted air, and rising energy bills. All right, come down. New York's first tidal power station is already making a difference, providing energy to a part of Roosevelt Island on the East River. Around New York City, there's a potential for at least five or six more projects this same size. If we accomplished that, it would make New York City the world's largest renewable energy city. Experts say cities are responsible for over 75% of global greenhouse gas emissions. Tidal energy farms are one solution to offset that environmental impact. We hope to uh, basically take that technology, bring it to other countries uh, and in the U.S. and take it from a situation where places that have water but no infrastructure will have power to uh, generate all kinds of electrical systems to basically sustain life in areas that uh, have not typically done so in the past. There are many tidal power projects planned in other areas worldwide, but this one is the first to connect to a grid and actually deliver power to consumers. New York City is leading the way with an energy option that could be a major source of power in the future. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.